Um, yeah, you want to hear ahead. what happened to me? You guys remember that uh, medicine man, Ryan? We After we worked together for like three days, he made an offer to buy my Magic the Gathering collection off of me. And was taking it to our friend uh, Glenn to get it cataloged. And then one day, uh, he grabbed my dog up by his neck and screamed in its face, my 15-year-old dog, Sammy. Poli filed a police report and went to trolls on the internet saying I stole $100,000 from him. Now explain, make that make sense. Somehow Boogie is always capable of making any situation about himself. Keemstar comes onto the live stream and wants to talk about wings not showing up, wings not doing this, wings quitting that, etc. And Boogie's like, whoa, 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 whoa. You want to hear what's been going on in my life? You want to know what's up with me? Because I know that's what all the fans want to hear. You know, saturated content, he's sitting over there. He wants to make a video about me. So I might as well uh, mention that I tried to sell my magic cards to my shaman. And in a drug-induced rage, he lifted up my dog and yelled at <laughs> in his face. And I banished him to the Shadow Realm. Or whatever the equivalent is in Magic the Gathering. So, of course, I mean, Boogie, the habitual narcissist, is just going to continuously do this throughout the video. And essentially, we're going to examine Wings talking about leaving the Local Live podcast. Boogie talking about Wings leaving the Local Live podcast. And I know I made a video about Wings talking about how he quit. Well, he decided to go on the live stream and explain his point of view and basically cuckold Keemstar into keeping him on the live. So we're going to start with Boogie's take on what's happening and then we're going to delve deep. Just dig deep, boys. The show is fairly successful. It's only been around for a few months. We've got like 2 million views, 36,000 subscribers, and the numbers are growing. Each episode generates between, say, 30,000 to almost as much as 100,000 views per upload. And honestly, for a brand new show, I still think those numbers are pretty damn good. And the Keemstar live stream episodes, for the most part, are pretty, well, high energy. And they're very drama focused because that's what Keemstar does. He's the drama guy and he loves to generate drama. By the way, shout out to the Lol Cow Live subreddit. If you want to talk smack about any of us, you can do it there. And Keemstar will probably incorporate whatever you post there into his live show. In fact, about the Lol Cow Live subreddit. Now, we all know that Reddit is basically the basement dweller's virgin, I don't know, escapades. Of uh, If you're at all relevant or famous on the internet, you're going to get slam dunked on by some dude who hasn't applied for a job in four years. And the funny thing is, the Reddit becomes an issue later on when Wing shows up on the podcast. Because he basically is crying and complaining, saying, well, they're just posting slanderous things about us on there. And Boogie's going to take his side. Surprise, surprise. This is a bit foreshadowing. But Boogie decides... Hey, let's give the a, a shout out to the subreddit. And then a couple days later, when when the live stream happens, I'm going to completely 180 and reverse my position and say, yeah, it's fucked up what you guys are doing to us over there. Can't be having that. And on, I, I don't, I don't want to, I want to number point you know i don't want to i don't want to look at the accolades of of your live stream or your own personal channel but boogie um the whole point of this podcast is that it's supposed to increase in viewership because all of you involved already have an established audience so when you combine it you would think that you would have a relatively substantial amount of viewers now I'm not scoffing at 50,000 views or 100,000 views. I'm not scoffing at that necessarily. But when you go from 100,000 views to 30,000 views, which is what this podcast with wings that we're going to get to in a second is at currently about three days after it's uploaded, you can uh, be a little bit concerned because when some ne'er-do-well such as myself is competing in viewership, with videos that are talking about you, Boogie, that's a bad sign because I'm overperforming the subscriber count that I have on my channel. 
but if you guys take all of yours you're getting less than one percent of all of the subscribers that are involved with keemstar and tommy and wings and you you know it's it's a bad sign and we're gonna get to it a little bit later but lowcount live is essentially dead and it's not gonna get much better baseless accusations that we are these things and look man while it's obvious that neither me nor Jordy are fans of PDF files. It gets really exhausting getting called that for an hour a week at the top of somebody's lungs when it comes from just some of the most disgusting human trash you've ever seen. But as last week's guest liked to point out over and over again, I was one of those children that got harmed by a very bad person. And I don't like being falsely accused of being a kind of person that would harm a child in a way that I got harmed. I don't want to talk about it, guys. I don't want to talk about it, but I'm going to bring it up every single time I can to get victim sympathy points from the audience. Come on, guys. I Why would you think that I, I, I would look at children that way? It's not like there's a national uh, statistics related to people who have been abused and degenerate behavior that derives from that later in life. No, we can't, we can't be comparing those to each other. That's, that's taboo. We push it to the side. Now I'm not accusing Boogie of anything necessarily. They had some clips of things, whatever. I don't know. But the, the, the fact of the matter is Boogie wants to hide from their past and that's not what this podcast is supposed to be wings wants to do it too he wants to like hide away all of the things that they've said and it's like you you need to be steadfast and solid with your point of view that you have you can disavow what you said in the past whatever but you have to name it name it say here's what they're saying about me here's the direct context that they got it from right because all these people keep saying is, ah, oh, it's just they're clipping random things. It's out of context. Who knows what it's from? It's like, dude, you can turn it on the trolls <laughs> if you provide evidence and you say, yeah, I said something real fucked up back then. Here's what it was. And obviously, I've never acted on it. I don't believe in it. And anybody that continuously brings it up as a slight against me is pathetic. And you you have to try and switch it around on them. But that's what makes you a locale. You're completely incapable of having a in-depth conversation. You know, trying to retort your points to somebody. And that's why you just get steamrolled every time. And that's why Keemstar is the king of this show, even though he's destroying it internally. Going around saying that Keemstar has ruined the show. Keemstar is forcing drama. I don't know what that means. You know, it, it all started with people saying things are faked and staged when Boogie was crawling on the ground. Wasn't staged. It wasn't my idea to bring Ralph on. I was like kind of against it. But you and Wings were like, bring him on. That's fair. I respect that. Yeah. You know, um, secondly, I think let's just be honest. You pick two of the flakiest motherfuckers on the planet to put a podcast together. Eventually, someone's going to piss one of us off. Now, I've come to work every single time, even when I was traveling. I ain't there yet. I think he's also worried about money. Right. Uh, I think he definitely wants to get paid at some point. Yeah, that so was the other I thing. He, he leaked out how much he was owed on the show, which is like, bro, what are you doing? I am seething. Someone in the chat's like, I'm seething. Yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty upset that Wings agreed to come and he's not here. So Keemstar mauls throughout this entire live stream, and the live version had him going ape shit multiple times that the editor conveniently cuts out. Where are all the crazy insane shit that and you can tell when when they're cut because it's like yeah, you know I am molding. Well, what are you molding about, Keemstar? There wasn't really context prior to that. Clearly, there was some rant you went on that you told the editor to cut out, which is odd because, you know, Keemstar wants to try and pretend like he's on a locale like the rest of the people on here. And I think that's a detriment to the show. The fact that you're not willing to own up to the fact of your infamy that exists on the internet makes the show so much worse if you were just the business guy behind the scenes it's fine it's whatever you're not a feature of the show but because you come on basically every single episode 
and are crying, complaining about shit, yet you don't want to be called, I'm not a low-cow, guys, I'm not a low-cow. Well, Boogie just pointed out a, a, a perfect point. You took some of the dumbest, least committed people on the entire internet and thought, yeah, this is going to work out, guys, I'm going to make this work. Meanwhile, you basically are playing passenger of the entire show. We'll see with the editor later, but you're not streamlining this correctly, right? And I'm not saying you need a troll in order to be in charge. I'm not saying I have to be involved. I'm not saying any of that shit. But you have to figure out why people are showing up to the show. If Boogie and Wings are going to cry and complain because people are coming on the show and making fun of them, then replace them. They're not the right people for the show, right? And it's sort of a lose-lose because how are you going to find somebody that is pathetic and weird and is also going to be able to sit there and take the beating because these two are thin-skinned losers and they're not going to be able to take anything when somebody criticizes things that they said and said they're going to cry and leave the show and demand things from you and you're going to give in because once again you're just a little cow like them your call has been forwarded oh my to voice god. <laughs> oh my god oh my god bro you might have your blocked at this point he just said i'm not coming on tonight that ship is sailed maybe next week bro i responded by saying how can we fix this if you don't come on today we will be spiteful and won't want to resolve it anymore which i know i'm gonna be man here's what keemstar doesn't understand i do think that there's a relatively endless list of people that they could bring on to garner a locale audience right and if you want to work from a perspective of power because the whole idea of keemstar running the show is well he has influence he has a audience that follows him he has money he, he works with businesses he does this he does that all right well <clears throat> if you're the most important person on the show lay down the law if wings is gonna say uh-uh, you didn't follow what I'm supposed to, uh, what I demanded of you, right? You didn't ban all these words. You didn't, you know, remove some things on the Reddit. You didn't do all these things. I'm not coming on. Say, okay, you're removed from the show. Replace him. Move on. Wings of Redemption is one of the lowest common denominators. The crazy thing is, He's probably the best one on the show, which is indicative of why the show's failing. But even even so, imagine replacing Wings with, I don't know, Shoe Nice. You know, King taught that Shoe Nice contacted him. Now, Shoe Nice is kind of an off-the-ball, insane person. I don't know if he could actually work on the show. But he'd be much more engaging and much more interesting than Wings has been. And he probably wouldn't cry and complain when people are trying to oust him for shit. So, I don't know, you don't, you don't work with the T words, right? The, the errorist. You don't work with errors, right? You have to move on from it, but Keemstar, I don't know why he's so loyal to Wings for no reason. <laughs> People here, and the guy doesn't come then i think i get him to come and i think he's coming in and he's not even home does it shit force to you is it forced is it forced you try any one of you mother saying forced drama try to do my job try to make this show a reality try to deal with these assholes and see if there is a drama every single day to make it out like oh this is the most impossible extreme show of all time how am i supposed to deal with this how am i supposed to well everybody saw it happening from the beginning people that actually followed wings and actually followed boogie sat there and were like yeah you know promising a lump sum of pay and money to these fucking people who have never succeeded in the past 10 years and have no commitment and no drive and, and no power and no hunger you know, that's probably a bad idea. And then Keemstar is going to get mad at us. He's going to yell at us for saying, See what I have to deal with? You fucking dug the hole you're in, buddy. <laughs> you have no one to be mad at except for yourself. Right? 
and and trying to wrangle him and trying to pull him in and and Keemstar keeps complaining that everybody thinks it's fake drama because the shit that you guys talk about is fake drama that girlfriend shit with Boogie is fake right when you brought morning after kill on the live stream there was n th that shit had already sailed that was already in the past you're bringing him on to rekindle drama for no fucking reason right that's the majority of what goes on on this show oh my god bell delphine so sexy oh crazy that's that's manufactured drama to get clicks because pokemon was popular at the time right so i don't i don't understand none of what's happening on the show is real do you listen to boogie talk do you listen to him talk all of the stories that boogie talks about are manufactured bullshit right everybody sees right through it he's not a good liar he's not a good manipulator anybody that has an iq higher than keem stars which is probably like i don't know 83 something like that can decipher that the other guy who has a 62 iq is not actually uh spewing the truth so it, it, it's aggravating right you came up with this idea now lay in your grave buddy Ellie, what's going on why is he not coming on I was supposed to tell you that there is no happy medium. That's it. That's what I'm supposed to tell you. Kelly, come on. Well, he's got to come on to talk about it. Dude, I told him he needed to go. We have 6,000 people here, Kelly. Come on. Kelly, can you convince him? Dude, like, I, I don't think you understand there is no happy medium because... Dude, his trolls, I don't like talking about that because it gives them too much clout. Okay. But, like, they're insane. So, like, the troll comments that are completely false need to be gone. All gone. Like this. I'm here. Just like, tell, tell him to jump on Discord and we'll talk it out. Sorry, I was taking my orders. Okay. <laughs> for negotiations here when you give trolls a platform like you're wanting to give them a platform i understand you're not against censorship right but when you give them a platform like you're giving them and giving them unrelented restraint the person that i isolated out in chat last week to look for was spent 35 minutes today calling me a in chat while without me saying anything while y'all guys were setting up you, you have i asked you three weeks ago to unpin boogie's little thing on the reddit because a subreddit about us shouldn't have a comment pinned on the subreddit that makes us look like cretins right yeah. you should somewhat protect the talent of the show giving people a platform especially one with six thousand viewers invigorates people <laughs> thus creates the means to get people to make videos and and do things behind the scenes so Wings is hiding behind his wife because he's a spineless coward. He's like, Kelly, Kelly, I need you to call them because I'm too afraid to talk to Keemstar. Please, I'll just tell you what you have to say. Please talk to him. I can't do it. I'm just, I'm too sad. I'm too angry about what's happening. And we all know what's going to happen. If you censor something like this show, it's going to turn into nothing. It's already pretty close to nothing, but... It's the same thing if you ever watched Jason Genova in the past, right? When Big Rob Fitness came around, he started to moderate Jason's comments. And the best part of Jason's comment, well, the best part of Jason's videos were his comments and the community around him. It wasn't necessarily what he was doing. I mean, there was some ments going on, but that's the problem when you start to censor stuff. Now, now, there has to be some amount of censorship or moderation going on on the live stream a hundred percent if you disagree it's like you can't have some dude sitting there posting whatever the same word or calling jordy a p the the pedo word a million times in a row you can time them out i'm not saying ban them necessarily but there has to be some amount of moderation otherwise you turn into like forsen's chat you know nobody wants to watch that nobody wants to endure through that it's just straight cancer so that's my thoughts on it at the same time it's like wings be a man and show up and say hey here are my grievances dude i thought i laid them out you didn't follow them figure it out or i'm gonna be gone and it's like okay at least there's an ultimatum built in 
don't bring Kelly involved. And I do agree, some of the trolls definitely step out of line. And I think Wings has a lot of those trolls that are just kind of insane. The video game. I was playing, and I was playing by myself off stream, and a guy joins my session, and he starts harassing me. You know, saying all the standard stuff. And I defend myself. I go, hey man, I hope your mother dies while she's sucking a dick. <laughs> this is what I said to this man. And um, I lost $70,000 because I said that. You know, I lost that because Twitch at the time had an off policy program that if somebody records you doing something that's not valued by Twitch off their site, they can use it hey, against Desi? you. So I lost my pro I lost my Twitch partnership, a 10 year one for there. That partnership was signed when it was just in TV. That's how far back it was. It was older. My partnership uh and was older than Twitch itself. Yo, this has to stop. This has to stop. We can't give these guys a platform. And because of that, you know, we'll never have a sponsorship on LolCal unless these guys are drowned out and smothered. These are incels. These are people that, you know, even their father struggles to love them. And, and Wings, you know, wonders why people view him as such a piece of shit garbage person. I'm not defending the trolls. I think a lot of the trolls that do heinous shit like SWAT people and constantly bombard police to the residents or spam them with calls or food and shit like that. Most of the time, I don't think that's very funny. I don't think that's cool. But Wing's sitting there and saying, yeah, you know, I signed this contract with Twitch TV. I didn't read it because I don't have past like a third grade reading level. And somewhere in there, it said there's an off, off platform policy where, you know, if you're doing some defamatory things that are bad for Twitch's uh, bottom line, they can, they can ban you. And guess what? I did that. And instead of owning up and Wings saying, yeah, I think it's really dumb that that's a policy on Twitch, but they had the right to ban me. They had the right to ban me because I said to some stranger who was annoying me that I could have just muted in the chat. Or left the lobby because Wings loves to rage quit lobbies all the time. Just leave the lobby. And instead he said that he hopes that she dies. You also said that to somebody else that you said, I hope you die in an automobile wreck. We all remember that, Wings. It's not like we don't have dementia. We're not forgetting things that were occurring in your life. But uh, if you just own up to it and say, yeah, I think it's really dumb. I lost some money based off of that. Maybe I should have been more careful. Or you could just own up to it and say, no, nah, I actually believe that that guy sucks. And because I believe that, I lost a lot of money off of it. But hey, I'm still confident in myself. A lot more people will respect you, but Wings is a loser. That you've banned people on your personal stream. So my fear is, is that anyone that doesn't like you is going to get banned off this show. That's my fear. That's why I didn't, that's why I didn't bring up like me moderating it. And that's why I was like, hey, Here's what I won't fix it. So I stated to you specifically, like when the subreddit and the chat is policed, I'll come on. And you took that as me agreeing to come on. That was a you bad. We'll implement uh, one of your moderators. Implement two of my moderators and let me pick the words to be banned. The problem with Keemstar, he gives in to this, by the way. He says, okay, we'll figure that out. We'll work it out. No. When, when Wing starts demanding things, you can you can demand things. You can say, hey, I want these things to be banned. I, I don't like these words. I don't like what's happening. But the fact that you're going to bring in Wings' mods, one's not good enough. We need two. And I need to pick all the words that they ban. Have you listened? There are minutes-long compilations of Wings saying what words are banned in his chat. New York Times, uh, Look Here, Look Listen, all this shit. It's like you're going to destroy the channel. Why do you think Wings gets... 200 viewers on his shit because he's irrelevant and because he doesn't allow for people to go in there and freely say, hey, you're a big fat loser, you big fat loser. And Wing says, uh-uh, we can't have that. If you do that to this channel, it's dead. End of story. And you're just cooperating with him. So Keemstar, when, when this ultimately fails and you cry and complain and you say, ah, oh, the cows ruined it. No, you did because you gave in to him. Replace him. Find somebody else to do it. I don't, I don't know how any of this is going to result in people stopping the swatting and ATF stuff. It's though. not. If it, it wouldn't be lull cows if this worked. Yeah, that's not going <laughs> to... No, 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 no. I, no I like, here's the how... thing. Before I started lull cow live, my troll channels were almost dead. And I, and I had basically smothered them out. 
I gave them no content. I didn't mention them. I gave them nothing to click or get excited about, and they got bored. That this show would have been more entertaining any other way than I did it tonight. No, you no, you're really good at. It. I'm really glad you did this, and I was really fun. Thanks. Now I, everyone's going to say forced that. drama. Now everyone's going to say forced drama, fake scripted. Well, fake. They say whatever you. the fuck they want. So I'm just. Man. You know how much more money I'd have right now if I could get sponsorships? I mean, with 200 mm -hmm. viewers, I don't know. I, I was pulling. I was pulling 1,200 on Twitch, and I was making. <laughs> From fifty thousand dollars more without sponsorships. You guys don't understand. I was I had twelve hundred viewers on Twitch like a decade ago. Shut the fuck up, Wings. You pathetic loser. Holy shit. This is the problem with with Wings and Boogie. They're perpetually stuck in the past. Yeah, well, I had ten million views on Fat Man Splash or whatever the fuck it has, and and oh, I I don't know why I'm not getting any support nowadays it's like dude you have to constantly innovate yourself you have to spin zone it spin it around try and figure it out but no wings won't do that he's 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 too smart he's too smart and clever he 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 can find new ways to make money and the and the fact the comment about the troll channels which is true if you go to any of the troll channels, I mean, somebody like Lummox used to be pulling like 20,000 views a video. Now he's getting like three. So, you know, and that's part of the problem with pigeonholing yourself with one character. When that character falls apart, you're done because it's like, ah, oh, shit. Well, Wings is getting 300 views a stream and I'm reposting that. And there's probably a wider audience that wants to look at Wings and not watch a stream. But his viewership declines, your viewership declines. You're not snuffing him out. You were crying and complaining about not getting enough money all the time. It's because your viewership is dead. And in turn, the troll's viewership will die with it. You know, it's a symbiotic relationship. But that's too big of a word for Wings to understand. Uh, you know, a single week into the show. And I'm like, well, how much are these guys putting in one or two hours? Like, you know, it's different. I like, wish I was putting in one or two hours. Well, I don't know how much you're doing, but I'm doing a lot already. So it's like, you know, trying to find the time. I think Connor can find it in his day to maybe upload this to Spotify. I think that's a thing he could probably do. Putting it on Spotify. Connor is supposed to be doing shorts. I had no idea it wasn't being done. For a month. I keep forgetting to tell you, honestly. Like every time I called you, I forgot, <laughs> I forgot to tell you. Connor hasn't been doing his job for an entire fucking month. Nobody noticed. It was two There's, full oh, weeks I'm, with no content. I'm gonna look at the channel right now. You tell me you wouldn't upload anything until January 20th because I disagree. And he said he and forgot he, about he also, there, the fact that Wings thinks that he's putting in monumental amount of time into this fucking shit. Wings, I spend more time on my channel than you have spent in the entirety. Of, of, of local live right you record an hour maybe two a week all right what else are you doing i know you claim you're trying to get guests to come on that hasn't worked out at all nobody had you have zero pull with anybody so i don't know who you're gonna get here to show up but you know he probably thinks him him stewing on it and thinking about it like wow i can't believe those viewers are calling me a p-word in channel all day i'm gonna cry and sit in my room and watch youtube on the ipad while kelly is just in complete disarray from her surgery i'm just gonna ignore her though because i'm in a bad mood that's who wings is right <laughs> you know and and now they're they're lambasting their editor because he wasn't doing his job during the time which is fair and you know their argument is well you have to do the shorts the shorts give us the traction in the audience you know that's how we pull people in and it's not working out buddy you know i don't think the shorts are gonna grasp this whole new audience of people to show up and say yeah hey that's pretty good and he's working himself to near death okay he gets paid less than you that man yeah. is pulling 70 hour work weeks right now and he gets paid less than you now i know the editing these shows they look great okay but i think with as much as you're getting paid you can go above and beyond too i think he's entitled to the entire amount in yeah, and, that's, I, I, yeah. Oh and let me give it a different. I, I let me give it a, a different not, perspective. I, I, bro, I'm about to quit the show. Are you 
fucking kidding me? I cannot babysit the editor on top of you three and everyone else and, and the audience. Me. Hey, by the way, this isn't forced drama. Well, I can't babysit a everyone I'm all day long. I don't have time for me. this. I'm owning up to what happened. I'm just saying you that that's the reason why. You actually taking accountability and saying, I'm getting paid $2,000 a month and I will give up $500 of that $2,000. That's owning up. Words mean nothing. Action means everything. And the you action me, was nothing. What are you talking you about? You pay me that a flat no rate. Owning up. You pay me a flat rate. If I do three podcasts a week, I make the same. If I do one podcast a week, I make the same. You agree to this flat rate. If there's no content being given to me and there's nothing going okay. on, okay. I just got out of the mindset. When I was given an opportunity, I could have gone above and beyond or I could have worked as minimally as I could. And I always choose to work as minimally as humanly possible. Now look how my life has turned out connor okay you have an opportunity right. here and in all things you do to do better than me and yeah, choose connor. to take the initiative in every step and in this step i'm asking you keem star is asking you to take the initiative in this Boogie. position Boogie. and i think you like, can and i think you should you, you're giving a bad example right now bud like you I took the minimum effort and you turned it into like millions of dollars and you like escorts for like years on end <laughs> hey guys boogie was able to make it about himself once again you gotta work hard and put in the effort because you don't want to turn out like me this sad pathetic loser did i mention that my dad did some uh grotesque things to me did i did i mention that do you feel bad for me are you crying can i lick the tears off of your cheeks please it would make me feel so much better and and here's the fact of the matter for keemstar when you agree to pay somebody you have to pay them that amount even if they do nothing, right? If you say, yeah, we'll pay you two grand a month to do this shit and they don't do it, you pay them for that month and you fire them. That's what should happen. Keemstar doesn't necessarily agree to that. He thinks, no, we should we should take money away from how much he's making. And, and Boogie and Wings, you know, I, I, I understand the point of view, but that's what you do in the future maybe. You know, maybe you say, okay, we're gonna pay you two grand now. Your pay is gonna be docked. You wanna still be the editor? Here's what we're expecting. I'm gonna keep on top of you this time because Keemstar wasn't paying attention to shit. He just said, oh, well, uh, I'll just trust this random guy to run my entire channel. That's fine, I got other stuff to do. And, but you basically put him on probation. You say, you still wanna be the editor? I'm gonna be on you like fucking shit in the toilet, all right? And we're gonna pay you, I don't know, 1200 bucks. You wanna be the editor? I'm expecting the exact same stuff from you. I'll, I'll two months, two months of 1200 bucks and we're expecting shorts. We're expecting to post everything. Do you agree? No. All right. You're fired. That's the choice. That's what you do here. Keemstar. I don't know why, how, how are you the business mogul? Why am I telling you things that you should be doing and you can't figure that out yourself? It's pathetic. Oh, either way. I hope you guys enjoyed until next time. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.